Welcome to the channel. We're gonna go over uh, some of the dyno results from the last dyno with the Savage Fabrication whole set HE351. That's well, actually a 341. It's a 57 millimeter compressor, 67 millimeter turbine. So the turbine upgrade was done um, by Bradley at Savage Fabrication. And that was what allowed this dyno to happen. This was uh, 559.4 horsepower and 645.9 pound-feet of torque. Um, I think this is a stock engine record for the M30B34. It's not a stock bottom end record for sure, but is a stock engine. Like I have nothing done to the top end. It's stock cam, stop valve springs, like the motor's bone stock from 1987. So here are the dyno poles. The first dyno pole was on 15 PSI. I was trying to replicate the last dyno that I had where at 15, um, at 15 PSI, we were just doing like a back to back. And on 15 PSI made 368 wheel and 426 pound feet. And then the next, the next run was, it was like, 20-ish PSI and it was 507 and 612 and then there was a, a really bad bump up top um, from 55 basically 5200 to 5500 there was a really bad bump and I think it was a r overly rich AFR um, and so I tried leaning that out and it did help clean it up it picked up oh gosh looks like Picked up like 30 wheel torque and probably maybe 50 horsepower average on that graph. You can, I don't know if you can really see it well, but there's a bump right here. And I was having issues with the, the injector control, but I was able to lean it out a little bit up top and just clean it up a touch. And then on the last one, I think it was, it's like 22 pounds, 23. Uh, I'll have to check on the data log again. I just did a video on this, but I'm just going off the top of my head. Um, but that was the 559 horsepower, 645 pound feet of torque. And that was all, that all happened at like 47, but where does it say? Yeah, we did like 4,600 and 4,400. So it's very low. Um, I would like to do a camshaft to move that peak torque up because that much torque this low down in the power band is really hard on stocked internals. So if I could keep this same 600 pound feet, but move it up, my horsepower would go up. So if I could just move it up uh, in the power band, like make it happen at like 55 or 5700, um, the power would just extend out. That's what's really cool about horsepower. It's just, it's related to torque. So torque, RPM, and horsepower are all related. So if you can move your torque, you can move your horsepower. Um, so anyway, enjoy the video. Here's the clips. And uh, yeah, this is uh, bone stock. I think this is a record. I hate saying records because I don't actually care, but I'm pretty sure this is the only person that I've seen with a completely stock engine do this. Um, so yeah, enjoy.
225 when we did it last time, so 507 and 407 foot pounds average. What's the peak on the foot pounds? Holy shit, 600? Dude, that is. Five fifty nine, six hundred forty five foot pounds. Losing it really hard up top, but the boost just took it home. Thanks for watching and just want to give a huge shout out to Bradley at Savage Fabrication. He has been instrumental in making this whole project and this potential record with this engine happen. Uh, without him, I probably wouldn't have gone down this road and, and made it happen. And he has been amazing. He's extremely helpful and willing to answer so many of my questions above and beyond what I could even ask for. So definitely reach out to him if you have any questions with, uh, this style turbocharger and uh, feel free to leave a comment or go check out his channel and his social media. His biggest presence is on Instagram. Go check him out. He's a wizard at turbos and he's also amazing at fabrication as well. So thanks again, Bradley, and uh, enjoy. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you see because we'll just keep doing more from here on out.